Hello, I'm U.S. Congressman G.K. Butterfield, Chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus and Representative for North Carolina's 1st Congressional District. Fifty years ago today, August 6, 1965, was a day in American history that reversed decades of African American disfranchisement from the political process. The bipartisan enacted Voting Rights Act resulted in the elimination of the literacy test, enabling thousands of black Americans to register to vote for the first time. The Voting Rights Act also enacted a Section 2 that allowed black communities to litigate discriminatory election systems and schemes. We used Section 2 successfully, litigating challenges in state and local communities. After winning most of those cases, federal judges required significant changes in redistricting and election systems, now resulting in African Americans and other minority groups being elected to Congress and other important positions. Finally, Section 5 was enacted, requiring jurisdictions with a proven past of voter disenfranchisement to submit any new changes to their election laws to obtain federal preclearance before the decision could be implemented. Section 5 in the outset was ignored by southern states. Slowly, covered jurisdictions began to submit their election changes after we demanded that they do so. Most were approved, some were not. The critics of Section 5 have been unrelenting in their attack on Section 5. On June 25, 2013, the U.S. Supreme Court addressed the Section 5 issue. It did not find Section 5 to be unconstitutional. The court simply called on Congress to update the formula that determines which jurisdiction should receive scrutiny in their election changes. And so until Congress acts, Section 5 cannot be enforced. Unless Congress updates the formula to determine which jurisdiction should submit their changes, it will be a license, an invitation, to states and their subdivisions to pass discriminatory election laws with impunity. Many states have already started, including North Carolina, including Ohio, Texas, and Florida. The Supreme Court's decision was June 25, 2013. Thirty days later, July 25, 2013, the North Carolina legislature passed the most discriminatory election laws in the nation, and that litigation, that legislation, went into effect immediately. No Section 5 review. And so the Congressional Black Caucus calls on the Republican majority here in Congress to amend the Voting Rights Act and give every American unfettered access to the ballot box. Thank you. Congressman G.K. Butterfield.